Hey, what's up? This is Zach in Toronto, day two of the Futurist Conference with Sam. How are you? Pretty good. How are you, Zach? Great. And uh, what brings you to this event today? I'm a community partner with Blockchain Futurist Summit. Um, and uh, I co-create RTZU, which is a platform dedicated to generate new NFT protocol backed by intellectual property. Okay, and wow, that's very cool. So backed by IP. Yes. Could you give us some example of some IP that people might know that you work with? Of course, yeah, with pleasure. Uh, we develop uh, solution. You mean the solution or use cases? Both, both. Okay, the solution is able to generate proof of interiority and proof of ownership. So instead of uh, checking a simple public key in NFT to see if who is the owner, you will have clear identification of that. Um, we generate also, we have plagiarism detection, so if someone copy your NFT or creation, you are automatically alerted using reinforcement learning. And the three, phase three is generating licensing. When you buy an NFT, you will have clear uh, contract for GameFi, meta use, physical reproduction. Today when people buy NFT, they print it in the t-shirt, they do whatever they want, but they didn't have any right to do that, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we try to define clear rules and clear royalties for the creative and the collector. Mm, so I guess like, for example, if I wanted to start like a beer line off of a brand of a bored ape, I could go to you guys to make sure that my bored ape like was properly licensed or whatever. Great point, Zach. Yeah. Okay, that's super exactly. cool. Um, could you give us like a case study maybe? That yes, of course. Uh, we, uh, we work with uh, uh, Quebec uh, Pinter. Pinter. She find out uh, a creator uh, lost his cre her cre one of her creation and printed in a uh, phone case, right, in Amazon. And she sent that our certificate, which is a blockchain intellectual property certificate, and Amazon blacklisted the guy. And, uh, oh, I'm wow. so grateful for that. Another use case, Pure IP, uh, Deloitte select us last year to protect 30 deep tech startups in Africa. So we had them to generate proof of uh, intellectual property before generating a patent, because a patent is a lot of money. That's what I'm fighting. Like, I want IP easy for everyone and accessible using blockchain. So this startup find out the way to negotiate with VCs, they have complete credibility because they have the certificate with them. So these are different use cases. And the last point, we're generating a collection using AI, and we will give 100 IP rights with each NFT. So I have them printed in my t-shirt if you want to see that. Oh wow, it's look here. at that. I'll give you the QR code. Oh, that's cool. I'll give I'll you, scan thank this you. Code. There are thousands of them and I'll give you the QR code for that. Oh, uh, great. Um, okay, so last question. Yes. How are you liking the event so far? Like, what uh, do you think of the conference? Uh, the conference is amazing. It's my second year here. Uh, I bring, and I'm grateful to have a couple of uh, startup Montreal based coming with us. Um, there is cool vibes. I know like the government today is a little bit challenging with blockchain and crypto, but the cool thing is people are supporting that. Society like citizens from US, Canada, Europe, Asia are here to prove like blockchain is the future. So I'm grateful and honored to be here. I, I couldn't agree more and it's a pleasure for me to be here as well. Thank you so much for the interview and we look Thank forward you, to man. seeing more from you soon. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. Thank you so much.